A square is inscribed in a circle, which is inscribed in a larger square. So we have a square inscribed in a circle, and the circle is inscribed in a larger square. The larger square has an area of 64 square centimeters. Find the area of the smaller square. We're trying to find the area of this smaller square. We have the area of the larger square, that's 64. Let's call this side, this distance S. It's a square, so all the sides are the same. So this distance down here is also S. And the area of the square is just S times S, S squared. So S squared has to be 64. Now I can solve this for S. It's going to be 8, because 8 squared is 64. Or you can square root both sides. You can find that S comes out to 8. Now 8 is this distance, which is also the distance of the diameter of the circle. And if you think about it, if it goes around this right here, the diagonal of the inside of the smaller square will also be that same distance, 8. Now the area of the smaller square, if we let the inside distance here be x and this be x, it's a right triangle. So I can do the Pythagorean theorem and get the side of the smaller square. So using Pythagorean's theorem, I get x squared plus x squared equals 8 squared. X squared plus A squared is 2X squared. 8 squared is 64. Dividing both sides by 2, I get X squared equals 32. X squared is actually the area of the smallest square. The area of the smallest square is X times X, which is X squared. So I found it right here. So the area is going to be 32 square centimeters. There you go.